subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay updated what is up you savages welcome to another video and hope you guys are doing well now the Mi Max 2 launch event was held four days ago in China and in this video we are going to have a discussion about what the new bigger phone from the company has to offer is it worth the upgrade from the phone that you're using right now it can be the Mi Max 1 so we are going to cover all that and without any further ado let's get started now the Mi Max 1 was launched last year in 2016 and the main selling point the main key feature of that phone was the battery capacity now uh, the Mi Max 2 is uh, in the in exterior it's like the Mi Max 1 but it has got a very big interior is packs boost and we have seen that on many other Xiaomi phones uh, let's talk about like the meme uh, Redmi Note 4 it was an internal specs bump from that Redmi Note 3 now the Mi Max 1 already had a whopping 48-50 mAh battery which was already really big now the Mi Max 2 has a 5300 mAh battery which is actually insane you can actually use the phone as a power bank if you wanted to and now it has been paired up with the snapdragon 625 i do not know why not the 660 but it is a really good uh, processor which is built on the 40 nanometer technology so it's a good pair up with the battery capacity now the problem with bigger batteries is that uh, many other uh, like many other flagship phones do not have that much battery power right then and there is a good reason for that because having a bigger battery also means that you need a lot of time to charge it up so the idea of how the xiaomi is going to prevent uh, how they like, tackle it is that they're introducing quick charge 3.0 and also parallel charging for the phone now what that actually means is that uh, you will be able to charge up your phone uh, six, you know, like 0 to 68 percent in one hour of charge and they're also claiming that the uh, like when you heat up 100 percent once you heat up 100 percent it will last for two days now i think that's a bit of stretch i do not think uh, like any phone can uh, withstand heavy usage for two days straight and i'm not talking about stand on uh, standby time i'm talking about like screen on time so two hour uh, two days is a bit much if you ask me so yeah on paper the xiaomi mi max 2 is looking pretty good on the battery side at least now let's talk about the design well the design looks a bit like iphone 7 if you ask me just the normal iphone 7 not the 7 plus it looks a bit like that the antenna bands are uh, upper a, a bit and the body is a bit stretched they will see 2.5d glass on the front and yeah it, it looks a lot like the iphone 7 and i do not know why xiaomi do these things because uh, they do not need to borrow designs from apple they are really good as they are people will appreciate it because they uh, deliver really good uh, uh, phones with very big uh, good specs uh, within a really good price point so yeah that shouldn't uh, borrow designs from uh, apple or whatnot now yeah the design looks uh, pretty good if you ask me uh, it's uh, it's it's okay i guess now uh, there's also a few things that uh, has improved upon like uh, we are talking about is it worth the upgrade from the mi max 1 what's differentiated let's differentiate the mi max 2 from the mi max 1 well the mi max 2 is saying that it the earphones will also uh, be used as a speaker when the phone is in landscape mode which means that if you are play playing a game if you're watching a movie in the landscape mode the earphone will use uh, be used as a speaker so you will get the surround dolby effect and i don't know what so yeah the mi max 2 has that another thing that xiaomi is really boasting about is the uh, screen well the screen is really big it is a 6.14 inch screen which is humongous and they're claiming that it will have uh, supports and so software features that will enable a person to use it in one hand and i think it's ridiculous i mean it, like we have seen the samsung galaxy s8 the lg j6 and even the iphone 7 plus which is relatively a really big phone now the, the, 
it does not mean that uh, like it's not a bad thing if a phone is not usable as in one hand it does not mean it's a bad thing it's not supposed to be used in one hand it's a 6.14 inch screen so yeah but they're still boasting about that uh, you can use it in one hand and i don't i don't think that's really necessary now let's move on to cameras well the cameras are a big uh, sector where the Mi Max 2 has improved upon the change it has changed upon because as you guys remember the Mi Max 1 didn't have that much uh, of a good uh, camera but the Mi Max 2 has uh, changed uh, all of that the Mi Max 2 has a 12 megapixel rear shooter with f2.2 aperture and 1.25 uh, micron pixel size and also it will have face detection auto focus dual led uh, flash and uh, it will also be able to record 4k videos in 30 frames per second and 720p at 120 frames per second the front camera has also improved upon it has a um, 5 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture and uh, they are also saying that the um, uh, mi max 2 has the sensors and everything from the xiaomi mi6 which is the Sony IMX386 so yeah the Mi Max 2 has a really good camera on paper and we are we are still to see how it uh, works upon on the real world and uh, but let's talk about the price and uh, the variance well it is only available on 4GB variant you do not get a choice on the RAMs but you do get a choice on the storage it is 64GB and 128GB uh, and 128GB 64GB variant will go on for $240 and the 128GB variant will go on for $290 and they were released in China under 1699 yuan and 1999 yuan respectively now Xiaomi has a reputation for delivering really good phones under a really uh, good amount of money so the Mi Max 2 is also following the path and uh, the, uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the Mi Max 2. Are you guys impressed about it and do you think that it is worth the upgrade from the Mi Max 1? I will be really eager to know what you guys think about it. And this was it for today guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, then do hit up the like button and if you guys didn't then nobody is stopping you to dislike it. And as always, thanks for watching. Be safe. Be savage.